Hi, my name is Taylor Stiesel, and I'm going to be talking about a painting called Two Sisters by Pierre Auguste Renoir. And this is what the painting looks like, and we'll get into more detail in just a little while. First, I'm going to show you my poster. That is what my poster looks like. That is a picture of Pierre Auguste Renoir. And here is a picture up close of the two sisters. Well, actually, they're not sisters at all, but I will get into telling you about it in just a little while. And I'll be referring back to that throughout the time. First, we're going to talk about a little bibliography of Pierre Auguste Renoir. He was born in 1814, and he died in 1919. He was born into a small town of France called Haute Vienne, and he Start, he was born into a working class family, just I guess you would call ordinary. Um, he, call, he got his calling when he started to work in a porcelain factory. And this is where he would paint fine china, um, fans of certain types, other types of dish, dishes and things for people that they wanted decorated. This is where he became, he knew he be, is where he knew he became an artist. Um, when he got a little bit older, in 1862, he studied art in Paris under an artist named Charles Gleret, and this is also where he met Claude Monet and other Impressionists, um, because as we know, that Pierre Auguste Renoir is an Impressionist, and there was a movement um, in the late 19th century, and uh, we'll get into talking about a little bit more about them in a little while. Um, in 1890, he married... Eileen Victorine Shungo, and she was a model to many painters, not only just to her husband, Renoir, but to many others. She's actually in a lot of paintings of the Impressionists and many others. But before this, he first found his, um, I guess when he became very popular in 1874, six of his paintings hung in his very first Impressionist exhibit. And this is, I guess, where his, all his paintings really came out to the public and people really started seeing him as a true artist. Um, he had three sons, one of which became a filmmaker. And in 1907, he moved to the Mediterranean coast because he had, um, he developed really bad rheumatoid arthritis in his hands. Um, it eventually spread it to his shoulders and down his arms and he um, had paralyzed fingers. Um, so he could keep using or keep doing what he loved in painting. He would strap a paintbrush to his hand and use that of a way of holding on to the paintbrush so he didn't have to use his fingers. Um, around 1919, him and his wife moved back to um, a small town in France and that is where he eventually passed. Um, two of his paintings sold for more than $70 million. And this one that I'm going to be talking about now sold for $100,000. So we'll go back to this again. This is the painting of the two sisters. It was painted in 1881, and it was a very, very, very popular Renoir piece. It is painted on an oil canvas. It's 100.5 centimeters long by 81 centimeters. Obviously not this picture, but the real canvas. Um, like I said, it sold for $100,000, and it is now in the Art Institute of Chicago. Um, the reason sometimes you see the title called Two Sisters on the Terrace is because that is where... The second, the original owner of the piece named it, and his name was Paul Duran Ruel. Um, the painting took place in a small town called Chaton, and this is where Renoir stated that it was. It was the most pleasant of all Paris suburbs. Renoir really liked it here because this is also where the painting 
the luncheon of the boating party was painted. And as you can see, back here is where the river comes in, and many boats would be here, and it was a very nice place to visit. Um, it is stated by some critics that Renoir was having troubles painting um, the leaves of, in the trees and also women and children. So they think this is why he chose to paint this painting so he could have somewhat of some more practice. Um, since we know that the Impressionists were painters of light and they liked to use natural lighting outside in their canvases, they didn't like to stay in a um, shop where they painted. They did most of their work outside. Um, so he used a lot of the natural lighting in the picture as well. He used it here on the water. He used it in both of the girls' eyes, on her shirt, and many of the flowers also in the background as well. Renoir was very known to put pops of collar, like here in these girls' hats and also her sweater, so that it, they would stand out against this all these natural trees because there is a lot going on out here. So he want he puts pops of collar that stand out so that the first thing that you look at goes straight to the two girls. Now we're going to talk a little bit about the two girls. This woman, the oldest lady, her name was Jeanne Dallo, and she was a very beautiful woman, and many painters wanted her to be in their canvases. Um, she was a very well-kept person, and she, um, she eventually went on to become an influential senator. Um, she never wedded or anybody. This girl, no one knows who she is. She um, she is not related in any way. So these two girls are not sisters. No, they, no one knows her name, and um, no one knows the reason why she was in this. You see these balls of yarn right here. Renoir put this as in kind of a joke, because most. Some people believe that his paintings looked of balls of yarn, so he kind of put this in there just to kind of guess show that he was actually a very good painter. It is said to be that the this painting of the two sisters was the peak of Renoir's career. And um, see, he used a lot of, well, naked women, I guess you'd say, um, a lot of sensuality in his paintings. So when a painting came out that was like this, very, very sincere and very innocent it was a um, breath of fresh air for most critics they liked uh, to see this side of Renoir I'm going to show you another picture of this of Jean she was a very beautiful woman and it took he Renoir captured a lot in her face he stated that he liked the way her eyes were and that she was a very beautiful woman. I really enjoyed learning more about this piece because as I looked at them on here, I just wondered, you know, if they really were sisters and why were they here? And uh, to find out that they were not sisters, and this is a very, very pleasant suburb that they're in. It was, I really like to learn about it. And I think that uh, Pierre-Auguste Renoir is a very, very good painter. So, 
that is all I have to talk about. I'm going to show you my poster one last time. And thank you.